time sing yes yes lord yes lord yes lord my love my life is yours is yours for this For those who trust you and obey, there is an answer, no more delay, for there is peace when I say yes, am I known seed now? But you save the best for those who trust you and obey. There is an answer. There is an answer. No more delay. No more delay. I'll just say yes. I'll just say yes. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My life. He with the hands lifted up saying, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Yes, Lord. You can take your seat. Praise the Lord. Turn on your right and on your left and you welcome someone in the house of the Lord. Turn behind and wave to someone. We want to thank God who has brought us in his house today. We give all the glory and honor to him. Praise the Lord. We want to thank you for coming and making it. And in a special way, we want to welcome the people that are watching us online. Thank you for following Miracle Christian Fellowship Ministries. And we want to request each one of us to go and like our pages. Subscribe to our YouTube. YouTube channel. It is called MCFM TV. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, which is Miracle Christian Fellowship Ministries. We have audio mark where we save all the audio messages that are preached. So should you wish to listen to any message that was preached in any of the Sundays, please go to audio mark. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we want to inform you that we have uh, three services every first Sunday in the month. We have two services every second Sunday in the month. We have three services every third Sunday in the month. And we have two services every second Sunday in the month. Yes. So today is the fourth Sunday. And we have four, uh, two services. In case you're in doubt about the program, you can always check on the notes board. Everything is there. We want to inform you that we have evening services on Monday, Wednesday, and 
month I'm Friday. So we request you to come and join us. God is doing wonders in a Don't miss them. On the second Sunday, we have the miracle clinic. We request you to come and consult with the doctors. It is completely free of charge. They'll just, in case you need to be referred, they will refer you. We have the best doctors in the house. We have uh, the best, just know that we have the best. So, and in all fields, we have a doctor. Here. We don't only have the, the, the medical doctors, we also have the veterinary doctors. And I want to request the veterinary doctors also to join the medical doctors. Because among us here we have farmers. So? And I pray and I request that you can also give us free consultation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have a, law, a lawyer fraternity also. If you have any legal issues that you wish to be advised on, please come and consult us. We'll direct you to the right people. But currently, the head of the law department is uh, Madame Mutua. Gloria. So please don't sit on issues. God has blessed us abundantly in this church. Praise the Lord. We have doctors. We have doctors of the books. We have counselors. We have all we have all people from all walks of life. So just come and consult and you get the right service that you need. We wish to all, to urge you to continue booking our services. Government has not yet lifted the, the SPO, the, S, uh, the standards uh, operating procedures. So it is necessary that you wear your mask. It is still necessary that you keep the social distance. We also want to request all parents, especially we've seen this in the evening services. Parents have started sending their children below 12 years to church. It is not acceptable and we shall not allow it. It is not because we hate you but it is because we want to abide by the rules. There are so many whistleblowers that can come here and it will put our church in problems. So we humbly request you not to send children below 12 years to church. And those who wish to dedicate their children or to dedicate their cars, their items that they've acquired. For the children, we do online uh, dedication. Pastor usually tells us that there's no social, there's no spiritual distance. There is no spiritual distance. So send us a photo of your child, the names of your child. Then we'll request the parents to come in church. The pastor will dedicate the child and he'll declare a blessing upon the children and the family and it will still work the same. The anointing knows no, knows no boundaries. So we request you to send the photo of your child on the church WhatsApp number. It is 0776 55 So you'll send all the details that you want on that number. If you want to uh, give thanksgiving for the things that God has done for you, we do thanksgiving in the fourth Sunday in the month. So in case you need to thank God for anything that he has done in your life in a special way, please come and approach us so that we can program it for you. In case you need to see the pastor, it is on appointment. So we request the people that unless pastor has called you in front, let us not intervene with the flow of the service and take a lot of time. In case you want to go and ease yourself, you can 
take this route, you slope down and you see the places of convenience that side. And the media team requests that we use the, 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 the doors on the sides so that we avoid the interruption with the coverage. Thank you so much. I'm going to request you to stand on your feet. God has done so many things for us. So the first thing that we are going to do is in our own words and clapping for him, we are going to thank him for the things that he has done for us. Thank him for the miracles that he has done. We thank him for the protection. We thank him for the goodness. We thank him because we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before you sit, I request you to put your hands together and welcome Professor ba Ed, Ed, Professor Elder Balebanangi. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's pray. God of ages, we want to thank you today because you knew us as a generation and you knew the person that you had installed to lead us in this generation and you release an anointing for the generation. We ask that you come and teach us your word. Your word that concerns us and how we can live in this generation. And moving with you if you don't lead a generation. Holy Spirit, I request that you come in our midst. A spirit of teaching. A spirit of uh, learning and teaching. To be with us. In the name of Jesus, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Um, My name is Edward Bali. I stay in Masoli. I thank God for this opportunity once again that I've been given to come and teach and to also learn. And I want to thank the pastor for the opportunity that he has given me to come once again here. Every generation in a godly way has a leader that God has put his grace upon and the anointing to lead that generation. I've come here today because God has placed us in a generation we follow and there's a leader that God has given us and that leader uh, is responsible for, for everything that is concerning us is there to, to, to deliver us is there to serve us is there to lead us because we are in that let's learn Let's learn about a generation that was before, uh, which is called the Joshua generation. This is not the first time for me to come here and teach about Joshua. But I thank God today I've come back once again to teach about the Joshua generation. But I pray to God to accept and, and give us revelation so that we can see how we can move ahead under the leadership like the Joshua generation. Um, lesson the lesson is going to have four parts. 
the first one I will talk about who Joshua is. The second one I will talk about who Joshua is. The Joshua by God. The third one principles of the Joshua generation. I'm going to talk about the principles of the Joshua generation. And then lastly, I will give a conclusion. Uh, Joshua, Joshua, or in Hebrew called Yehoshua, it, it also means uh, uh, Yahweh is deliverance. Or God will save. And Joshua was Moses' assistant. And he became the leader of Israel after the death of Moses. Um, his name was Hosea, the son of Nun, of the tribe of Ephraim. But Moses called him Joshua. This one can be seen in Numbers 13 16. But again, according to the Bible, Joshua was born in Egypt prior to the Exodus. And then something else important about him. He was one of the 12 spies of Israel sent by Moses to explore the land of Canaan. But also most importantly, he led the Israelite tribes in conquest of Canaan and he distributed these lands to the 12 tribes. And, and lastly, according to Joshua 24, 29, Joshua died at the age of 110. The people of a Joshua generation live long. You've had the years. And we are also going to see some of the things that he did. And I believe that with God we are going to learn. His name Hosea. But Moses, his leader, called him Joshua. He sent him among the 12 spies to go and spy the land. But after all that, he became the leader of Israel after Moses' death. He fought so many battles, so many wars, and he got the victory. And he was able to take the land that God had promised them. And he distributed it to the people according to the plan of God. But he what I want to talk about now, before Joshua went into leadership, he was commissioned by God. Thank God's commission to Joshua. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I say to Moses. Uh, thank you very much. Now, the most important issue here to, for us to note is that as you go to do God's work, it is important that you are commissioned. Uh, to God commissioned uh, we have, um, Joshua himself. Right. But when we go ahead, 
Even when Moses was still alive, God made him a part of that work. Showing the people that it was Joshua who was going to um, get in his place. And Joshua had things performed, spiritual uh, things performed upon him. Like being laid hands upon. Like being brought before the priest. And declaring before the people in a godly way. But we've seen God telling him to Now arise. This shows us came about in the lives of the children of Israel. The leader they knew for a long time the deliverer they followed is dead. However, the promise and the vision is not. Moses is dead but you are not dead. And God is saying, you are part of the Joshua generation to claim the promised land flowing with milk and honey having every need of yours met with more than enough to share and bless others. And so when God told Joshua that arise, it also meant uh, moving towards your goal. There is that thing that you desire. There is that thing that you have believed God for. God is saying, arise and move towards it. And, and also arising uh, uh, means to become powerful or to come to the sin. Um, and, and God said, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, I've given unto you, as I said to Moses. And, and that's what we are today. God wants each one of us to possess the good life he has planned for us. And so, God uh, said, God commissioned Joshua. In, in Joshua 1, 1 to 3, we see that very important uh, aspect when God himself is commissioning Joshua for ministry. This makes us to learn we need God to commission us. And then later on, just as I promised, we shall see the roles, the role of the priest or the role of uh, the leader uh, 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 in commissioning people in ministry. It, it is very important. Uh, uh, um, Part of God's plan is revealed to, 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 to your overseer. And, 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 and therefore, you, we shall soon see that Moses knew all this. Even thereafter, God shows up and speaks to Joshua himself. Now, I want to go to uh, my third part of this lesson, uh, which is probably uh, the, the, the longest. Uh, these are the principles of the Joshua generation. Uh, these are the virtues. These are the uh, qualities of the Joshua generation. I, I want to say that uh, Joshua was very successful. He lived a generation of accomplishment. 
Just like that generation lived. We are living in a generation. We want to learn what are those uh, very uh, fundamental principles that guided Joshua generation which can actually guide us today as we are being moved into our promised land. I want to, to, to start with the first one. Joshua generation honors the previous generation. Now, we read from the Bible that Moses' generation wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Probably this was a time for Joshua to, to, to cite some mistakes. And say, I justify a need for him to take over them. But Joshua still remained as a faithful servant of his leader Moses. Even during this time, uh, uh, that was not very easy. And when, when you read in Exodus 33, 11, you will see. And uh, again, we, we, we see Joshua uh, serving faithfully. Faithfully. And, and waited for that time when Moses transitioned out. And then also, that time when God commissioned him to be the new leader. He did not demand the mantle prematurely. He was a patient young leader. And that he honored those that was above him. And that God trusted him. He honored those that trust that led him so that God trusted him to lead the next generation. Uh, something very important here we need to understand that Joshua had a call on his life and yet he was a servant of Moses. I, I think... Uh, Christian can read for us just one verse, Exodus 24, 13. So Moses arose with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up to the mountain of God. And he said to the elders, wait here for us until we come back to you. Indeed, Aaron and her are with you. If any man has a difficulty, let him go to them. Thank you very much. What I, what I wanted to pick from that verse is the fact that Joshua was a servant of Moses. And, and that, you know, he was maybe somebody who was bearing part of the apparatus that Moses used in the presence of God. And, and so he, he served him faithfully. He was a patient young leader. And he waited for that time when God commissioned him. We need to, to, to learn to, to, to serve others. When you are serving God, you serve other people. When you are serving God, you serve his servants. And, and it is through that that God will trust you for bigger things. Uh, the second one, uh, Joshua generation is a people of great faith. And uh, in this I mean that the Jesus generation are uh, the we are able generation. We are able generation. 
and, and this one we see uh, that in spite of uh, Joshua and Caleb uh, facing opposition, opposition, they spoke out of the promises of God. They, they belonged to that generation that actually confessed the fact that we are able to do it. And so these are, these are uh, uh, a people of a great faith. Uh, Christine, Numbers 13, 30. Okubala kumina satu asatu. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and so uh, God is calling believers to this present time to stop circling around the mountain. But rather to break the camp and advance into the promised land. God is calling his people to rise. Arise and shine. And let the nations see the glory of the Lord in the midst of gross darkness. And so I ask a question. Do you only trust in the divine hand? Not in the finances. Not in the intellectual abilities. Not in the military power. Just like King Jehoshaphat was. A people of great faith. A generation of we are able. A generation that will testify and, 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 and before God and before others. That despite their strengths. Despite their strengths. Despite, uh, despite their size and height. We are able to take the land. We need to belong to a generation. Of Joshua and Caleb. A generation of great faith. That is the second principle of the Joshua generation. We, we confess positively. Uh, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. And so, and so Caleb and Joshua used their tongue to speak life. And it's no wonder that it is only these two people of the entire generation that, Egypt, that managed to reach the promised land. Um, number three, the Joshua generation will be obedient to God's direction. The Joshua generation will be obedient to God's direction. In, in the Bible, Joshua uh, chapter 1 verse 7, the Bible says, uh, only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may be successful in whatever you do. So, being obedient to God's direction. And in Joshua 11, as the Lord commanded his servant Moses, so Moses commanded Joshua. And Joshua did it. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. Uh, here there are two things. One, to, to actually do exactly as God is commanding you to do. But number two, 
uh, there is this aspect where Joshua is actually doing as Moses told him to do. It, it looks like uh, uh, Moses heard from God. And Moses said, okay, I'm going to heard from God. And then passed on the information to Joshua. But the Bible says that he left nothing undone of everything that the Lord commanded Moses. This aspect also uh, hints to the fact that Joshua trusted his servant, uh, his uh, um, leader Moses. And, and that he never doubted in his heart whatever information Moses was bringing. Joshua accepted it as a, as a voice from God. And so he left nothing undone. And, 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 and therefore this one connects also to our first principle of honoring the leaders above you and, and serving them patiently and, and also trusting the fact that God is using them. And so when you are seeking God's direction, it is very important that you follow the words of their mouth. Because in, in many of the cases we hear our pastor say, in earlier days, the servants of God, especially the prophets, they were the mouth of God. And therefore, it is no wonder that Joshua left nothing undone. Said by who? Moses. Musa. This verse in 1115, it is not actually God speaking directly, but rather, God commanded Moses and at a second stage Moses commanded Joshua. The Joshua generation is obedient to God's direction. Leaves nothing undone. All the righteousness whether by uh, you know, avoiding committing sin uh, through forgiving, through giving, and many all the other things. He left nothing undone. Uh, principle four. Uh, the Joshua generation uh, uh, has supernatural strength for war. We can call it the fact that Joshua generation has a militant spirit. Uh, when, when, when you look at the, the, the church uh, emblem over here and, and the, 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 the motto or the, 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 the overarching objective it is to, to, to train people for war in the latter days. Actually, one would do uh, um, very, very quickly liken this congregation or our church to the Joshua generation. Joshua generation was a generation with the militant spirit. Ever fighting to break through. We get an example of Caleb. Uh, our pastor normally teaches us about uh, Caleb. Who was not uh, actually brought down by his age. But even at 85 years. He had a militant spirit in him. In Joshua 14, 11 to 12. We see uh, Caleb uh, uh, not paying attention to the age. But, but he's, he's, he's looking at 
at what belongs to him. He is looking at an accomplished life even at 85 years. Kindly read for us only that one verse. Joshua 14, 11 to, 12. 11 to 12. As yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both for going out and for coming in. Now therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakin were there and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. Um, even at 85 years, Caleb had a militant spirit. This is very unique to the, to the Joshua generation. And I would say that this is also very unique to our generation. There is this uh, that, that our pastor normally talks about. Not to pay attention to the contradictory circumstances. Because at 85, I, you are 15 years away from the official retirement age in, in public service. No, no, oh, you ahead 15 years, sorry. Yes. Uh, but even then, uh, uh, at 85, 15 years later, Caleb is still believing for a great life. And Caleb is still believing God for what he was promised. And, and Caleb is still referring to what Moses promised him. And he's ready to fight. Are you tired of fighting? Are you part of the Joshua generation? Do you have a militant spirit in you? It is only through that that you will claim what belongs to you. Even when uh, circumstances might seem contradictory. Uh, in, in the same uh, vein of uh, fighting, uh, we see Joshua destroying the Amorite coalition. Amorite coalition of five kings. It is part of my prayer. I love this in my life. Some of you that can be like me. Among the things that you do every day. They may be like five people. And they come into agreement against one Everyone um, brings up their own advice and wisdom. All they are doing is to find that strategy that will bring you down. But whatever they are looking for, that one thing. But now Joshua also faced a coalition. Five kings. You, you, you can call it five nations. But Joshua destroyed them completely. Actually, actually when, you, when you read in verse 10 of chapter 10, the Bible says he thoroughly defeated them at Gibeon. And in verses 11, even when they were running away, also God intervened and they released large hailstones from, from sky. From the sky, and, and, and actually killed very many of Joshua's enemies. This is a prayer. Because as we wage a spiritual warfare, as I have said, that this church has uh, actually many characteristics of the Joshua generation a militant spirit. Uh, uh, a people of great faith. 
we are able generation it is also very important that we 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 understand that as we fight there is also the aerial uh, support that God gives and actually actually Era. without your doing God can destroy your enemies. Here the Bible says that the, the, the hailstones, hailstones killed very many more than those that died by the sword of Joshua. This reminds me of uh, King Jehoshaphat who won a battle without fighting. Uh, during the, the COVID lockdown, uh, COVID lockdown uh, a pastor taught us a lot about Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Very interesting revelation. The only king that won a battle without swinging a sword. But this, uh, uh, in this verse, I, I see a connection. Ndaba connection. Joshua tried his level best. He stopped somewhere. Those that were running away were outside his control. They were outside his control. But God intervened. And actually did much more. That which um, Joshua had done. The fifth principle. Joshua generation is the people of the book. And, and the spirit. No more. And, and, and so God told Joshua that the key to your success would be the book of the law. Uh, Christian, read for us uh, Joshua 1 8. Joshua is so This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. And so here, meditating on the word is a key to entering into the spiritual realm. It is, it is one way of uh, actually... Uh, creating life in the word. Through that word. That is a very powerful way. Meditation. Meditation. Pastor told us about the ways. The ears. Mind. The mind. The eyes. If the devil is to defeat you, those are the ways that the devil uses. But if you're also going to defeat him, those are the ways that you use to uh, build up yourself and to put on um, your weapons of war. We've also spoken about the Joshua generation, was the generation of the spirit. Uh, and so uh, the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit. It is very important that we are filled with the Holy Spirit to be overflowing in the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit. We've been told that in the times of the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit came down for some time for that which he had come to do. And then he left. But you see, the scriptures told us God was looking for someone who was filled with the Spirit. A man in whom is the Spirit. Um, when we prayed uh, during the morning altars, I realized that there are prayers that are said 
and, and you're limited for so many years. But if God gives you the grace to break through in the spirit, especially if you're led by the one who is spirit filled, prayer has so many levels. And there's a prayer that can take you far. Therefore, it is very important that we are a generation of the book but also of the spirit. Because the book alone will kill us but the spirit brings life. Uh, the sixth uh, the Jewish generation does not tolerate ungodliness in the camp. Um, when Israel lost a battle due to the sin of Achan, uh, they stoned uh, uh, the, 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 the entire family. They took them out of the camp. Because definitely God spoke to Joshua. Why have we lost the battle? And yet even the spies that Joshua sent brought back information and said, no, 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 those are very weak people. And we don't need to engage the entire army. Just choose a few. And then the work will be done. Let the rest of the army be resting. Maybe there is another uh, a stronger you know, opposition to But it. even when they, they thought that, uh, they have a weaker opposition, because of the sin amongst themselves, actually, particularly Akan, who, who, who had uh, some uh, items, uh, uh, the devoted items, to, to, that were devoted to the demons, but he brought them to be part of his position in, in, in his tent. And when God realized, he left Israel. Even the weakest enemy, according to their detectives, defeated his Israel. But, but now what we see is that uh, immediately this was spotted. It was uh, dealt with decisively. Throwing the silver and other uh, riches out of the camp but also even those that were responsible they were put to death and, and so we need to renew our holiness and a passion to, to walk in the presence of God but we also see Joshua and Caleb uh, who tore their clothes when the rest of uh, the other people said we shall not be able to enter the promised land. Uh, and it looks like they, they were uh, tearing their clothes in expression of sorrow and maybe of uh, intercession for them. Uh, uh, and, and so this is the, the, the characteristic of the Joshua generation. They do not tolerate ungodliness. But also, uh, Joshua told the people one time, in Joshua 3, 5, consecrate yourselves. For tomorrow the Lord will do wonders amongst you. And he told the people to But I think the Muslims are better than us in this. Even if for them they do something that is um, physical, they cannot come into um, the mosque without taking abolition. They also have a principle. They have some principles that hinder other people, that bar them completely from coming. But sometimes we forget. 
uh, including me. You can wake up 10 minutes too. And you dress up quickly and you come and enter. But now you forget to, to consecrate yourself. Uh, so that uh, uh, God might meet you in the service of today. Maybe that the spirit of the Lord will work in you. Maybe that God will send his word specifically for you. Uh, uh, out of the confusion of the world, in many of the cases we run to church, uh, but we don't reflect. Uh, uh, basically, uh, how we are, how we are standing. And the, as a result, then um, God serves uh, other people and He might bypass you. Maybe because of one thing or the other. The Muslims think that they, when they do ablution, the Lord will meet them in the mosque. It is a great challenge. I think that even when you're sleeping, the last 10 15 minutes before your bell goes. And, and that, that day is a day for service. It is very important that you reflect and tell God to, 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 to wash you. To wash you. So, so that you are ready. To receive from him uh, during the service. Number seven. Joshua generation is a generation of accomplishment. And so God is also calling us to action. And the accomplishment. And so we need to be faithful in carrying out God's commands and carrying them out fully. And, and we see that uh, in Joshua 11 15, we have already read it. Uh, saying that, uh, and so Moses commanded Joshua. And so Joshua did. And he left nothing undone. Accomplishment is very important. In Joshua 11, 23, uh, so Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord had spoken. All the land accomplishment. All the land. He took whatever was promised to him. We need to take everything that was promised to us. And when Joshua was coming to the end of his journey, uh, chapter 23, verse 14, not one of all the good promises the Lord your God gave you has failed. Every promise has been fulfilled. Not one has failed. So, accomplishment. And even Joshua testified. He was telling his people towards the end of his life, you have seen the faithfulness of the Lord. That is the same God that we also believed. He's the God who does all. His servant told the, the, the congregation that he had led that everything that he promised, he has done it for us. Amen. Amen. The eighth principle. The Joshua generation will be strong and courageous. I want to say that strength is a component of courage. But courage is not necessarily strength. Courage means having strength to do something even when you are afraid. And, and that 
people don't lack strength as much as they lack courage yes the boldness the courage is to get the strength to do something even when you're scared. Strength is part of courage. But courage does not mean that you, you, you have strength. The Joshua generation was a generation of uh, 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 strength and courage. And, and in, in verses 9 of the first chapter, uh, the, the Bible says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong, vigorous, and very courageous. Be not afraid. For the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go. Nine. The Joshua generation is chosen, anointed and commissioned by God for the task. I said this one in my introductory remarks when I talked about God commissioning Joshua. But I also said that uh, even when God did it himself in the first chapter of Joshua, God does not do it without his servants. Moses, the supervisor, Musa, um, supervisor wa Yoswa, of Joshua, mm. played a part ya in commissioning Joshua for service. Muktuma, Yoswa, now listen to this. Lay your hand on Joshua Take a joku Yoswa. and have him stand before Eliezer the priest and before all the congregation and commission him in their sight. And this one is very important. You shall put some of your authority on him. And then I, I ask a question. Has the authority of your man of God gone with you? God is telling Moses put some of, some of your authority on him. Lay your hands on him. Let him stand before the priest. This was done when Moses was alive. And then in the first chapter of Joshua, then God comes and speaks to Joshua. But God first spoke to Moses. Have you been chosen? anointed and commissioned for the ministry you are about to undertake I will be done in three minutes but the tenth principle Joshua generation will operate with the angelic realm the question is, why do we need angels when we have the Holy Spirit? Angels and the Holy Spirit are completely different. Angels have a completely different purpose and function. In Hebrews 1.14, and not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. Even Joshua, when he was fighting by the walls of Jericho, the angel of the Lord appeared and introduced himself as the captain of God's army. Even in our generation today, Pastor um, usually teaches about the ministry of the angels. And sometimes he prays uh, that we may, uh, the angels may come. Uh, I'll never forget. Uh, Patricia was coming from abroad. And Pastor prayed for her and said three angels. 
mugugu one or on the luggage mwana, the second one on the child the third one on her herself but uh, that was a period of coronavirus ako kali akasera ka coronavirus it had started so many people back testing you were positive they were tested positive but until today those two people in my house i've never gotten flu no sign nothing the angels are present in our generation where you cannot be maybe it is a meeting Meeting, the angel might represent you. And, and then the decisions they are in Era, wo, might turn the other way to your favor. Um, 11. Uh, 11. Uh, 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 Joshua generation hears God's strategy for warfare. And the Lord said to Joshua, you shall march around the city. All the men of war circling the city once. You shall do so for six days. These were all instructions. Instruction, strategy. It is a strategy. When you break strategy in the war, you are killed. And he also added, all the seven priests shall carry seven trumpets. And on the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times. These were instructions that he listened to. Sometimes they may not seem important. That it's like Naman. When the servant of the Lord told him to go and dip himself seven times. But, but with no, uh, actually, when you think about it, it doesn't make sense. All you need is military power. Uh, very good detectives that have gone to very, very good uh, military schools. But in, 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 in the house of God, those don't matter. What matters is God's direction. But the question is, have, have you listened to that direction? Have you done everything and you have left nothing done? The last one, the very last one, as I conclude. Joshua generation will start to be known and get public attention. And so the Lord was with Joshua. And his fame was all, all in the land. It is the same thing with us. But now it's not all about our fame. It's about God's fame. We are here to make God known in all the earth. But as that one is being done, the public will recognize us along the way. And this one might give rise to some battles. Pastor usually talks about this. When God has blessed you, many people will know you, will see you, and, and and even battles and uh, bo both verbal and otherwise will come. And then the question is, are you a witness to public attention and reaction to what God does in your generation? Do they move you? That is so important. Because I myself, some of the feedback that comes out scares you and you fail to sleep. Sometimes you lose a few kilos. But uh, sometimes when you come to the pastor, he tells you that is your blessing that is disturbing you. And it is expected. Sometimes he tells you close your ears. 
Genda kugenzi maso. Just go ahead. Na yengu ulevi la dela wojita wazivu nyo. But you see that you're going through a really very tight spot. You, you, are, you are nearly falling down. Onate lo kugwa. Nga malize kasembele yu dela. As I finish. Um, signs and wonders are in our generation. In our very generation. Just as it was in the generation of Joshua. Joshua made the sun stand still. And the moon also to stand still. And so, are you a witness to the signs and wonders in your generation? Then you are in the right generation. You are being led by the right leader. You are on uh, what is expected in, in, in the congregation of the saved people. Just like the church of Christ was. Where the word was supported by the signs and wonders. Conclusively. God has representatives in all generations that he appoints, anoints, and he sends to, to assist a very big entire generation. Moses was one of them, but when he died, God raised Joshua. You are part of the Joshua generation. Ready to claim the promised land. Arise. Come to the scene. And start moving towards your goal. Move from the promises to the promised land. It is time to go over and take what God has given you. Uh, the virtues or qualities or uh, principles qualities over virtues of the Joshua generation with you. With you. Nawe. I want to say. Joshua generation is a great example. And particularly in this ministry, when you read about Joshua, you'll find a lot of practical applications of what we see today. I'll not go beyond that. <laughs> I request you to stand up on your feet and give a round of applause as we welcome our pastor. May you take your seat. Professor Tweyanzizasebo. Thank you so much, Professor. Praise the Lord. Let's give him a round of applause. The Lord is good. And then Nachaize. Who has learned something? Um, or is it, uh, what have you learned, Madam? Yes, we have as we said. Mm. Praise Jesus. Yes, we have as we. Praise Amen. the Lord, brethren. The changes what I have learned. Professor has told us that we, we are in a generation, a militant generation. What I have learned in my wisdom is that. In this time that we are living, we are under an anointing that teaches us to, to fight spiritual warfare. That is something so little that you have learned. Too, too little. Someone to add on to that. Madina, what have you learned? Let me just let you be. And then the chair is there. There's a hand at the back. 
Yes, sir. Yes, At the back, yes. Yes, my big sir. Two minutes, one minute. Mm -hmm. That she came over, Bidi. Praise the Lord, Church. Praise Praise I'm so blessed to be here today. Mm. To present a teaching like this. Mm -hmm. Doctor gave us the quality of Joshua's generation. Professor, to what Debbie Sanizo Ebi Omni Beguayosa. But he started by number, let's say, from number two. Okuvanga ku number Yokubidi. There must be a commander. Why not be a commander? There must be a follower. Why not be a follower? In this, I explain it this way that God commanded Moses. And Moses also had a follower. And Moses also commanded Joshua. Mm -hmm. And these two are two that were moving together and listened to one another. In this, to my understanding, as we are trying to explain, that they had a vision objectives they knew what they were going for and they were obedient there was a leader and where, whereby that leadership has, must have equality and where that leadership must have equality and where that leadership must have equality I beg your pardon so in the aspect as I was trying to explain also I realized something there must be listening why not where that leadership I can't bring on because for him he framed it and he wrote it all well for us. In my conclusion, as I understood him, when we are in the when we are under somebody, we need to be listening, be ready. And be obedient and not forget whatever we've been instructed to do. We have to reach to our objectives. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Professor. 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 And I also thank my friends who have made notes. Thank you so much for taking care. Um, the month is ending today. Isn't it so? No, it's, it's the 28th. So the month is ending today. Tomorrow, we're going to have prayers, prayers and fasting for 12 hours. But that altar will be on for three days. Preparing ourselves for the month of March. Because I feel it within my spirit. That people have been stagnant for these three months. Have to march on by the grace of God. But as I know, God. The grace. One has to seek after the grace. We're going to have prayers. Real prayers and fighting spiritual warfare. And in this fight, I expect you to be a part of it. We'll be opening at 3 p.m. with prayers. And we'll pray up to 6 p.m. The same on Tuesday. The same thing on Wednesday. It's going to be a great war here. But I know there's a goal that I'm aiming at. I want someone who is listening to me and who is going to be a part of it. May this month of March change so many things. Remember that every time we have those opportunities, the devil really kills people's faith. Christmas, Imagine when Christmas comes and it finds you with all the stress and you even fail to get sauce, you fail to get food. What happens? The level that you were at in faith. You remain a believer, but then you, your, 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 faith is, your faith deteriorates, but you know that the uh, part of our battle is in the spirit. 
Chinjagalo batigeza. But I want to let you know it is. Easter is going to be there on the 4th of April. Omwezo guja. Next month. Ogokuna. The month of April. Chitigeza nti. Omuntu yena ajoku ba successful mu March. It means that anyone to be successful in March. Agenda kunyumiru wanyo amazu ukira. They're going to enjoy Easter. Ngaba kiriza. As believers. For our joy to be perfected, it comes after getting what you want. Because our Lord says, That ask, and you shall be given, and that your joy may be made full. Unfulfilled joy has a way that it keeps a whole. But and and for someone's joy to come to pass, it comes to pass when they have gotten the desires of their heart. Now, because of this reason, I, together with you, we know very well that God greatly desires that we get our desires according to his word. He says that I have good plans towards you. I alone have good plans for you. Plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster. And plans to give you a future that you hope for. Amen. Amen. Because that is what God says. That he alone has the plans to give us a future that we hope for. He can depart from his word. Now if you don't achieve what you want, it means there's a spirit that intervenes, the demons that intervene, that could cause the delay of the angels. And then when the angels delay, it's as if your seasons are shifted. But if the church can be ne, one accord ne, ne and we attack the space, Amen. I mean, why do we attack at the beginning? The devil has already finished March. his plans for March. If you concur with me, then say amen. Everything that the devil wants to do in March. He has even already started deploying his demons. Go to families of all believers in the entire world. And make their business. People Buy, keep keep uh, hold back their businesses, brother. Make sure that people don't pray. Make sure that they contain. Let them have dreams that discourage them. Make them hate one another. Disconnect them. The devil has already released all those. Now because of that very reason. The son of God was manifested to destroy. And the son of God uses you and me. Amen. I mean. So we have to come. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and pray and destroy what the devil has put in place. Are we together? Are we together? I'll not fail to say this. God is not going to cast out the devil in your house for yourself. God has never done it and he'll never do it. God doesn't fight with the devil. The devil is simply a creature. And God doesn't fight creatures. Even in heaven, he wasn't involved in the battle. It's angel Michael that fought with Lucifer. And when he was cast down on the earth, the voice spoke that war unto the earth and, and, and those that dwell in it because the accuser has been cast upon it with so much anger because he sees that he has a little time left with him when Jesus saw that he saw that it was really war unto us and he said let me divide the land that gets clothed in faith clothed in the body 
abantu go to the earth and be like other men. After, Mbawaman, I'll give them power ku to trade upon snakes and, and scorpions and overcome all the power from that. Demon. That is where Michael stopped. Where Michael stopped, that is where my people will start from. I like to let you know that even if you call upon Angel Michael to chase out the demons in your home, he only tells you one thing I belong to heaven. Heaven. The heaven is the Lord. And he gave the earth to the sons of men. And he didn't stop at that. He also came and gave you authority. Amen. I mean, it's us who are going to deal with our own issues. It's us who have to attack Lucifer. Bind him with his armies. Put them in chains. And call upon the ministry of angels. Just as Professor has told us. So that they can serve. If we do it at the beginning, it will be so good. Because our God sees the end before the beginning. That is why I wish that we come what this, the evening. Service. this evening, even if there is no service. It doesn't concern everyone. But if you feel like you want to pray, I'll be here at 3 p.m. and we will start praying. To serve. We pray. To serve. And we pray. Amen. Amen. Prayer has done for me so many things. I don't even speak much. And I haven't spoken of no others. But why? Because that time is not no, here. Prayer has also done for you so you many things. things. You can say but but friends, people in Nangabo can really pray. But have, have everybody discovered discover that people in Nangabo are so victorious? Are we different from other people? We are washed by the same blood. We have the same Holy Spirit. We have the same Father. And we are going to the same heaven. Therefore, as they were telling us, generation Joshua. About the generation of Joshua. It's a militant generation. We have also laid some strategies. Amen. Amen. Thirty days. There will be thirty-one. Thirty-one. We have to hold them in our hands this evening. And cover them in the blood of Jesus. Everywhere that the devil has planned to use. Whether to hold back your work. Whether to hold back your ministry. Whether to cause you sickness. He has already released everything. But we are going to attack them. And we we'll set them up blessed in the name of Jesus. I encourage you. Please come, let's pray. Come, let's fight. If you have seen the devil anywhere, make a list. And know that the devil was holding back my farm. This time I'm going to smite him. Remember, ask and you shall receive that your joy may be made full. Meaning that if you ask and you don't receive, you ask and then you don't receive, your joy is partial. So the devil intervenes. He gets a podium and tells you, okay, so you mean Easter has even come? Easter has come and you even failed to change Easter is here. And your parent even fails to get meat. Confusion so confusion starts. And he starts hating uh, And you start hating people. Yet there's something that you didn't do. The heaven is not going to smite the demons of poverty for us. Remember Uganda as we start. The, the heathen. They've been so deep in the devil. No. So deep. The person that that you work with in the shop, the one you do the same business with, the one you share an office with, you don't know where they go to. They pay a lot of money for them to stay at that job. 
There's a sacrifice that they make. Let's make a sacrifice of God and time so that we can make headway. How many of you want to be involved? I pray that God will give you the grace that you'll be together with me this week for these three days. Please don't get weary. We're going before the front line. Starting with this evening. I've never gone into a new man and it starts without being anointed I want tomorrow I want people to receive the unction tomorrow tomorrow after prayers people are going to be anointed for so many reasons it's only God but I want him to set you apart ways have to open in the name of Jesus all the words that the Philistines blocked we are going to one block them so that the streams can flow in the name of Jesus it shall happen all the that the Philistines blocked we are going to unblock them in the name of Jesus and after the service tomorrow all of you that will have come those that will be online we are also going to pray for you get your anointing all the way as I'm anointing them you also anoint yourself and then we will declare we will declare and decree we are taking much for God's sake. Amen. Amen. No so. Nkolera a program yo over budget here at Easter. Or your budget for Easter. To take it to the So that we put it before the Lord early enough. Manji. Hello. Jikole. Please make one. By the time March ends, there will only be two, four days to Easter. Sicho. Three days. It will only be three days to Easter. There are four. I want us to learn how to keep prayer. And also praying before time. So that we the, the angels when the time is there. So that they be, bring our belongings early enough. When your Easter joy has been fulfilled in your home, that faith is going to lead you through the world. And you feel like you overlove God. But the devil has already planned. You fail to get food right. You even fail to get money to go to visit your parents in the village. You grumble for five days. But God, what, what benefit is salvation to you? That is enough to disconnect you from God. Because God doesn't deal with grumblers. So if you're on one side and, you're, and God is on the other side, what is going to happen? The devil is going to say, okay, I have got so for this one, so I have them. He will access you and do everything that he wishes. And then you'll get ashamed. Are you clapping about that? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Never follow any hand like that is She had already misled you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I send you regards and praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now in the evening is when we're going to start so that we dedicate these three days in prayer and this intercession please come along with your list you see we are here Dr. Kaigo you may be family. having your family your siblings your wife said and everyone's eyes are on you but you also have personal bills do you understand? Now everything that everything is upon you. Now that it is if he doesn't fulfill them so that his joy is partial, I will have him in my hand. He will not forsake salvation. But when he grumbles, 
God says I hate people that grumble. So he will be disconnected from God. So this one doesn't have a connection. Where is his God at? So he gets a hold of you. Steals you, kills you and destroys you. You wind up when you have forsaken God. Because he hasn't done you well. I pray to God that everything that you desire you, you write it down and we put it before the Lord for these three days let's call upon the angels let's call upon the blessing let's open ways let's declare so that our pastors lay hands on us and we see what will happen was understood that you also include your deaths on the list May God so that by the time he said, when most people were here, that that make you fail to sleep are done with. That is my prayer in the name of Jesus. I pray by the time you said, God, you will see how we will not rejoice before the Lord. Because issues concerning the resurrection of Jesus means a lot to us. It means that that those people that we were also given an opportunity to see of those things that we never saw. Because the one who had done them had died. Now when he resurrected, it means that he has come to give us an opportunity to see what we did. So if Jesus is alive and your prayers don't come to pass, the devil would have lied to you. But we have the authority time is still here. 31 days we are going to get a hold of the space. The demons from the Indian we are going to put all the Chinese demons to the ground. All the demons from the Southern world. All those from Chagwe are going to cut them to pieces. And cover the space with the blood of Jesus. Then we shall command the army of the angels to go before you to your office that one who is the contract will renew it when they are not even in their senses let Sarah, Sarah, Sarah's contract be renewed for five years hey. Then he will notice that he has who gave her these five years. Is it I that signed it? But it will be after seeking the grace of God. Have you understood that? Everyone in this month, we are going to shut the devil's doors. We are going to open the doors of blessings. Amen. Amen. Have you understood it clearly? If you have understood it, may the Lord bless you. I don't know whether Mr. Kayemba is in the house. Is Mr. Kayemba here? The one who stays in Nadia, are you here? Mr. and Mrs. Kayemba. Had they approached you, sir? They are coming in the second service? By jam service. Hmm? Okay, let me first leave it at okay. that. We are going to pray for students who are going back to school. We are going to come forward and we pray for them. And commission them in the name of the Lord. And we also know that that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We don't take our children to be indoctrinated. It is our pastors that lay hands upon them. And we also anoint them. They go and study and make it. And I'm going to call them out to come. Lay hands on them. Then you see what, what kind of wisdom the Lord gives. I'm going to invite the children that are going back to school. Please come and let the pastors also come. Let's lay hands upon you. In the name of our Lord. Okay, come. There's someone here in church. You always fall from your bed. First come here before I pray for the children. So many times you fall from your bed. 
you roll no gwa and you fall off your bed i do unange baden saboje i request that you come before we pray for the school going children obangoli omukuba kubano if you, one of the people that roll from their beds and fall, Jangwe immediately won. call out someone who was crying last night or who usually cries in the night come and join us you don't have to tell us are you the one? are you the one? ok um Join the two. They got to come. Ah, what woman child? There's a lady. Um, there was a leakage into a chick sumbua. I think there's something upon you that disturbs you. Does a bichango maka guna guta andika? Ever since this year started. Okubi dua. You've been beaten. Omami akuba. Your husband beats you. Abantu bakuba. People beat you up. We gamba. There's that phenomenon about you that causes you to be beaten. They'll just break you for nothing. I request you to come. Come and join us. If you're among these, I would like to see you. Something about you that causes you to be beaten. Even if you're not involved, you just um, minding your own business. You find people that are fighting. They are fighting you up. I request that you come and we pray for you. Don't fear people. There's a reason. Where are you? You are a lady. Please come. I hope she's not among these. I hope she's not among these. If you're taking long, we'll let you be, but how wish you could come, you can put an end to it. And maybe it was just sent to you. If you don't own up, let me just let you be. Let me also say this. There's someone among us who has a wound. They've treated it, but it has failed to heal. But you can't see it. Come and join us. Here. God is going to heal you. The last that I'm going to call out. The person. You develop her in the night. It must be you. You develop her and then you get scared. Your heart pumps so fast. It's so fast. God is going to help you. Amen. Amen. The ladies who are in the market or a store, I request that you come tomorrow in receiving the unction. 
because oppose the gods of your workers. Their gods over oppress you and you get so many problems out of them. I request that. You attend the prayer and fasting sessions more. Leave someone behind to work for you and come. I haven't seen the two people. I haven't seen that lady who gets beaten. You could become lame out of it. Mm. What is it? How I wish you could come. You know a time can, you can get to a time and get used to it. But it's not a part of you. If you don't own it, it's your choice. Um, chi. What is your problem? Hmm? Crying. I'm going to lay my hand up you. And the pastor will anoint you. Hmm? But I request that I pray in the name of Jesus. Yamaziga. The source of your tears. Ekale. Let it dry up. And I pray that God will give you an answer in the shortest time possible in the name of Jesus. I also pray for you but the demons upon you. I command in the name of Jesus that the demons that were upon this cow let them catch fire and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. And from today on, let those spirits be destroyed in Christ Jesus our Lord. What? Lord, I pray that you help this girl. All the spirits that were causing her to fall, I bind and destroy them. I beseech you, Lord, that you will help her for the world. She will live and tell it to her own. That God healed me from falling in Let it stop from today on. In Jesus' name. The name of Jesus, everything that was oppressed, command it to stop. And I cancel them. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, from today on, whatever was attacking them, that was making them develop hackles, the twitches and everything, command them to stop in the name of Jesus. What? Lord, I put an end to crying that was attacking this girl. I pray that you take away the source of her crying. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Should I start from this side? Lord, our children are going back to school. Oh, Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I pray that you honor this act. For everyone that will lay my hand upon, let the wisdom of God go with them. Because the parents have told to get school fees. I pray that you give them wisdom so that they can return that parents' fees. In Jesus' name, God preserve these children so that they don't come back with illnesses, that they not die, that they may live well. In Jesus' name, the Son of God, we commission you, may the Lord give you protection, help you so that you may be heads and not tails. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, from today on, I commission you. So be it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for wisdom. I pray for understanding. In the name of Jesus.
I pray, O Lord, that what that, that you command it to do, that it will bear fruit. I break you off all the covenants. I usher you into the covenant of the anointing. Go and get your heart that your joy may be made full. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Stretch out your palms. Wasoma. Did you study? From today. For a little. Because you have decided to come before the Lord. I commission you. May the angels make sure that you come back and testify. When you come back and testify, I'm going to send you to Pastor Chibamu to anoint you back because of the grace of God. Go and may God give you a job that is going to sustain you and also delight you and also give you everything that you desire in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Kakati. Now. Get a hold of your offertory. We're going to give in. If you have any pledges. At our table. Next to the exit after giving the offering. And you tell them your name. Tell them what you pledged. If you pledged towards the lights. I request that you bring it forth. We started crafting the mountain. Uh, we are still making many more. Amen. Amen. Okay. Who has a headache? You have a very bad headache. Alua? Who are you? Alua in a headache. Please come. Run, run, run. run. You can't leave the house of the Lord with such a headache. Hurry up, hurry up. So that you'll be healed. Who dreams of snakes? Come here too. Come here too. I request that you line up behind these ones. Are behind these ones? It's going to stop. In the name of Jesus. The pastors, please. I request that the parent who has a child. Child has a habit of stealing. They initially didn't have it. But now, you have beaten them, talk to them, but everything has failed. I request that you come and give me the book. If they are home, I request that you come and give me the book. If you know that child is home, we are going to give them the book. Um, we are going to collaborate. I'll anoint your palms so that when you get home, you lay your hand upon them and pray for them. If they are here, bring them with you. The Let me see the hand of the parent. One parent, there's also another one. There's also another parent.
I'm going to pray for only this parent that I've seen. I'll let the other one be. Who, who has a child called Katamba and they have that habit? At times, what makes you uh, get stuck in your chair makes your child be at home. If you're online, where is Erinya? Please send in your name. Amen. We shall embark on this some other time. There are so many other things that I'm seeing and I can't talk to them. I don't have the time. Who has uh, things that oppress them at night when they're sleeping and they make them numb? There's also another hand at the back. Where? That lady who is coming. Okay. On this Oba side, I don't know whether it's a man who, who, who dreams <coughs> of having a meal with a deceased. Hey, I think we are here. Come and join us too. If I ask you, you remind me. And then we shall deal with it very well. You may not tell me this. But in this chat, there's someone. Their friend told them about their problems. No. You told your friend your problems. One of your friends took you to some church and they gave you water and other things because of the issue that you had. And also, I don't know. think another friend of yours to advise you to come here. I don't know whether you even pray for me. I, I request that you raise your hand because there's something I would like to tell you. That is if you wish, kindly raise your hand. If you don't hurry, you hand, then you missed out. I think let us just let that one be. It's not a crying, please. Put up your hand. Put up your hand. It's not a crying. Just put up your hand. I want to tell you something. Are you the one? Are you the one? How about you? Mm. Mm. That has no problem with that. Your message is such that you confess salvation. Why do you perform? Faith here in That you don't put your faith in water. Water. Those things that you were given. Please get them out of your house and throw them away. Are you scared? You take the water and so you wash your eyes with it. You drink of it, such things. First, please. If you are going to let go, that is when I'm going to pray for you. If you don't allow to let them go, then I will not pray for you. Have you accepted? What have you accepted? When you go back, pour out that water. Do you understand? Our faith is not invested in, 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 water, but but in God and in God's word. Okay. Lord, wherever I lay my hand upon, 
Nsabo muonyo mutui. I pray that you heal their headache. Nsabo muri nyaria yesu. I pray in the name of Jesus. E nsibuko. The source. E yomutu oguruma. Of the headaches. E kari. Let it dry up. Nkori mira. I cast. Buri muzim. Every demon. Oguvako. Okurumu wa mutue Muri nyari ya Yesu Njogero kwenye zewa Mkristo Yesu mkabafe Amen Kati Cheche achenzi zako Abalote misota Mkama ansaba Buli alote misota Mkwa hita wana Buli abata alote misota Mkwaba muruka Mkwaba uwe mizimwe jimurumba Jife let them die from the root. And I pray. Every the witchcraft Let them all in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your word be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. I break the word. That were attacking them. All the spirits. All the snakes. I cut them to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hand upon them. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Five laid my hands upon you. Make sure anti. Kakasa anti. Boxiza mafta. You've been anointed. Bano baachi. Balo tabali ana abafu. Yes, amen. Aye mukama. Oh Lord. Nkutula. I break. The point of contact. Eri wakati tova. That is between. Eri wakati waba antuba. That is between these people. Naba antu waba afa. And the deceased. E nkwaso njukutula. I break that point of contact. Muri nyeri ya Yesu. The name of Jesus. Eri wakuvare ero. From today on. E nkwase yondagire fe. I command that point of contact to die. Orine nsonga luachi mkama wiku debi ntubino. Lord you have a reason why you have received. Nsaba muri nyeri ya Yesu. I pray in the name of Jesus. E isecha akatonda. That the grace of God. Chije. Will come. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God, receive the unction. Church, Sigadeo. Hmm? You get it. How old is your child? 18 years. What do they steal? Sente. Is it money, chicken? Any money that is there? What is their name? Nadio Pewilson. Nadio Pewilson. Where does he stay? In Buyi. The pastor is your living duty so fast. When your boss is still there. I saw the cookies and I saw it. Can they accept to be prayed for? Nadio Pe. Nadio Pe. That is such a great name. Can you lay your hands upon her? By the grace of God. Go and lay your hands upon her. If it is something If it is a monetary spirit, let it stop. Let the anointing break. So that we don't gain a reward. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Put on your mask. Take a kaka koko loko. Muri nyari ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Nkomia. Eche chivade chirumba oblambo. Put to one end whatever was attacking you. Eche kuruanyi sa nchikomia. Whatever is attacking you I speak. Era njogiru okuonye zewa. And I speak healing. Nsiba. Eche vako ube inje. The source of accident. Nchimenya. I break it. Kukwene family yo. Off of you and your family. Nsabe sacha akatonda. I pray for the grace of God. Chikwe tolole. Surround you. Kusabide no muli muomulala. I also pray for you another job. Mukama agukue. May God give it to you. Muri nyeri ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Kale. Wanji. Namakula Juliana Arina Vividi. Okulo Temi Sota. She dreams of snakes. No Mwana Abba Abamuita Habib Mwonge. 
and the kid who steals his clothes. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you've heard the voice of Namakula Juliana. I bind all the spirits. I move through those dreams. I set them on fire and I with the blood of Jesus. And from today, Lord, I pray for a child. The spell of them that had come upon me, let it catch fire. Let them regain their senses and let them be healed from things in the name of Jesus is there anyone else Jamila and Namiro Mukama Jamila Namiro. Lord Jamila and Namiro. M- I pray that you preserve her. That you surround her with your blood. Her and her set on fire. Everything. The dreams from sleep. Let their souls also die. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Get a hold of your oratory and declare and say, Oh Lord. Say, Oh Lord. Say, oh Lord, with my seed, my enemies, let them be scattered. My enemies, let them be talked Everything that was after me, let it be destroyed. With my seed, let the hand of God be talked My enemies, oh Lord, in this coming month, I I pray that your hand will take my feet. Will take my feet out of the snare. Oh Lord, let my feet be delivered. Let me march forward. The month of March. I pray, oh Lord, that you will show me your mercy. That you will show me your mercy. That you will show me your love. The month of March. In the name of Jesus. Say, my money come out. I'm not going to be poor. I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be great. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let the pastor anoint you. I anoint you. Go and overcome whatever was overcoming. And I pray for you in all your work that you succeed. Cover you in the blood of God. No monitoring spirit will in the name of Jesus. All the spirits, all the witchcraft, the demons that monitor your father, the monitor your father, the monitor your father, the monitor your father, the monitor your father, command them to come. Command them to be consumed. Command them to be destroyed. Lose life. Go into the dead Die from the root. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is a lady here. You are determined to beat someone determined to beat that person you are ready and more than ready please put up your hand I have your message but you are going to get problems there is a lady here. You are ready to beat someone. Just put up your hand. Even if you don't come forward. Put up your hand. You refused. I'm also going to But I'm letting you know that. Problems are going to come your way, but even if you call upon God, those problems are really going to be upon you. But even if you call upon God, you will know what disobeying God is. I'm giving you advice. Plan your Cancel your plan. Don't beat up that person. Don't fight your own battles. It is only God that is going to fight them. When you fight your own battles, I assure you, 
time uh, we around 60 or 70 days and you will not behold the grace don't do it. whatever you were planning to do amen amen um, there's a child who stole 140,000. You have it at home. You've even gotten an offering. Don't dare put that money in the basket of the Lord. Don't put money that is stolen in the house of the Lord. You'll just go, go away with curses. Get that money and take it back. I know you have already consumed some of the money. You have already used some of the money. But take the balance back. And then you'll see the grace. In such days, for someone to steal money from you, they will have beaten you so hard. Sent it. I've already put that one right. There's someone who has an ache in, in their feet. Please make haste. This is time for the next service. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was in the name I command you to stop. die from the root. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was in the root. Let it die. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was in the root. I command you to stop. And die. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was in the root. I command you to stop. Let it stop. And die. Stop. And die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The grace of God. Let it come upon your life. Let it stop and die. Let it stop and die. In the name of Jesus. Ania Galis. Tabira to Jabi Korolala. We shall do the rest some other time. I'm seeing someone's feet and they connect the to the dust. They connected to the dust and, and from your feet and they connected to the But I deliver those feet in the name of Jesus. I set that witchcraft on fire in the name of Jesus. From today on, the point of contact that is between your feet and the dust. Die. Negire and Quasi, fat command that Murinia is the name of Vida Yesum Gallo. Give this a Sahara. Yang, say my feet. You get a way to get a young, say you, my feet. Only no Kutu Kajenja Gala. You have to reach where I do. Murinia is the name of Jesus. Gamma, where we get a young, say you, my feet. Only no Kutu Kajenja Gala. You have to reach where I do. Murinia is the name of Jesus. Gamma, be now. Say Amen. Let us see. I broke the chain. I set it on fire. Loose. Then I'm going to the dry places. You mean it? Arise. Arise on your feet. You mean it? Arise on your feet. Gamba guno mwezo gokusatu. Say March. Mwezi guange. Is my month. Nienda nechisa chakatonda. I'm going with the grace of God. Mwezi guno gokusatu. March. Mwezi guange. Is my month. Nienda nechisa chakatonda. I'm going with the grace of God. Mwezi guno gokusatu. March. Mwezi guange. Is my month. Nzigula wenzi ji. I open doors. Is a March. The doors of March. Nienda ne fever. I'm going with the fever. Ea March. The fever of March. Buli sende ze manja. All the money that I demand. Sija kusa surwa. It will be paid. Every amount of money that I want, I will get it. In the name of Jesus, I'll be ahead. I'll never be a tail. Challenges, diseases, go so far. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Come and put your offerings in the baskets. Soma kuchisero. Read that is for the offertory. That is for the tithe. 
have any pledges, any pledges, please take it. At the other table, you find ladies that have pain. They are very good at what they do. 